So next topic I'm going to go through uh, is simple random sampling. The very simplest way to sample data. It's not used really in the real world, if at all. Um, but again, judging by its name, it is a very simple way to sample. What I'm going through right now, I'm on ShareOut, going to the 5751 course into my folder, and the data set that I'm going to work with for the simple random sampling comes from your lesson two. So this matches your um, example we did in your lecture, and that's your randsamp.xls file that I'm going to Yeah. Okay, and so here we go. We have uh, a total of 40 uh, data within the sample. These are um, incomes of 40 families. Now to do a simple random sample, very easiest way to do this, is to do the following. Uh, generate a column of random numbers and use the equals rand function in Excel to do this. Now, uh, I want to create random numbers for all of the families here. And so just go to the bottom right corner, double click on the little box, and that fills in random numbers for all 40 families. Now right click, copy those, and paste just the number values. Why do we do that? Because Anytime you type the rand function uh, and execute it, every time you hit enter, it generates a new number. So we want to fix the numbers. We don't want them to keep changing. So there we go. We have uh, fixed those numbers finally. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and sort those uh, family incomes. We're going to sort them by these random numbers. So go under the data tab, click sort, and sort these guys by the random numbers. So click OK. And there we go, we have a random ordering of the 40 family. And I'm going to grab the first 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there we go. That is a sample of 10 out of the 40 families. So this example from your lecture. Uh, asked us to sample 10 out of 40 families. We're going to type that in, sample 10 out of 40 families, um, incomes. Okay, that's what we're up to. Okay, and that's what we have done um, using the RAND function in Excel. Now, um, so those are our 10 incomes. Now, um, there's another way to generate these simple random samples in Excel uh, using the Stat Pro add-in that I showed you how to add in earlier. So under the add-ins tab, there's our Stat Pro. If you forget how to add that in, look up YouTube video how to add in Stat Pro in Excel. Okay. Um, now to generate a simple random sample using Stat Pro, um, you go to Statistical Inference, Generate Random Samples. And then go highlight here. So I want to sample all of these families, if you will. Okay. Control shift down. Um, and select the families. Okay. Click OK. Uh, and I want to sample um, one sample here of size 10. Click OK. And let's put that uh, to the right here. Okay, let's put that there, starting in this cell. Okay, so it sampled families 21, 18, 24, 27, 26, 19, 5, 13, and 17. Okay, so it uh, sampled those guys there for its random sample of the 10 families out of the 40. Now, one thing you have to be careful is I'm going to insert... Um, a new column here, okay. Now this is a special scenario. Um, if you notice, I shuffled the family numbers as well. 
and I didn't copy uh, and paste or anything. So I didn't preserve the original data. Um, <clears throat> so what I lost were the numberings for the families here. They're in a random order here down the left-hand column. Now, um, these numbers, if you will, this tells me go grab data number 21. That doesn't actually match these family numbers anymore. This first guy here, this number 21, is actually uh, go sample, in this case, family number 34. So I generated um, a new column here with new counting numbers in it from 1 to, 1 to 40 in this case. And 21 tells me go grab the 21st one of those data. Uh, and last thing we need to do if we want the actual incomes associated with those um, sample numbers, we need to go use VLOOKUP. Okay, and I'm going to go look up this 21. I'm going to look it up out of um, all of my data here, control shift down. I'm going to go highlight that. Um, fix that um, list of data by hitting F4 uh, and then F4 again. Okay, so lock the cell numbers there. So I'm going to look up this 21. Uh, in items or cells A10 through D49. And what I'd like to return are the incomes. So the incomes are in column three in this case, one, two, three, so comma three. And then for VLOOKUP, uh, if I want an exact match, you can either type false or put a zero at the end there. And that will say, look for exactly 21 in this list. So there we go. Now, what we have to be careful of as well, the family numbers it could also find as well. So maybe let's go doctor something here. Okay, so hit enter and let's see if it found the correct one for us. 39,300, is that what we wanted? Yes. Okay. And family or sample number 17, let's make sure that one matched up. So yes. So what it looked up, it looked for the first exact match here. So it looked for it in the index numbers first before the family numbers. Uh, but that is how you generate a simple random sample uh, using um, the RAND function and using Stat Pro. And I just made these look a little bit prettier. I knew that these were uh, numbers, if you will. Uh, sorry, I knew that these were dollar amounts, uh, if you will, that I was using. So I just added a dollar sign to them and got rid of the stat holes. And so there we go. So that is two different ways to generate a simple random sample of size 10. Um, one way using Excel's RAND function and one way using uh, the uh, Stat Pro add-in statistical inference to generate random sample. And then finally using Excel's VLOOKUP.